Good evening all and welcome to this live stream, our first for the year. And I do trust and pray that as we continue the office of evening prayer, that you will faithfully join with us throughout this year. For those that I'm speaking to for the first time this year, compliments of the season to you. And may God bless you as we seek to worship Him and to live our lives faithfully for Him. And also to our cameraman, our technical advisor, Andele, a warm welcome to you too, and we pray God's blessing upon you and your willingness to always be available so that we can share the Word of God with all those who are watching this evening. So a warm welcome once again to all. So in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open our lips, that we may glorify and praise Your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. I invite you to turn with me to page 55 in our Anglican prayer books, paragraph 46, as we say together, Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who by night stand in the house of our God. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And so as we meet this evening, we call to mind and confess our sins as we bring all that troubles us, as we lay it at the feet of Jesus. And so we confess together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, our appointed Psalms this evening is our Psalms 7 and Psalm 8, and it can be found on page 611 in our prayer books. Psalm 7 and 8, and can be found on page 611 in our prayer books. O Lord my God, to you have I come for shelter. Save me from all who pursue me. O save me and deliver me. Lest like lions they tear my throat. Lest they carry me off and none can save me. O Lord my God, if I have done such a thing, is there any wickedness on my hands? If I have repaid with evil him that was my friend or plundered my enemy 
without just cause. Then let the enemy pursue me and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and lay my honor in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Rise up in wrath against my adversaries. Awake, my God, you that ordain justice, and let the assembly of the peoples gather about you. Take your seat high above them, and sit in judgment, O Lord, over the nations. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and as my integrity requires. Let the wickedness of the ungodly cease, but establish the righteous. For you try the very hearts of and minds of men, O righteous God. God is my shield over me. He preserves the true of heart. God is a righteous judge, and God condemns evil every day. If a man does not turn, he wets his sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. He prepares the instruments of death and makes his arrows darts of fire. See how the ungodly conceives mischief, how he swells with wickedness and gives birth to lies. He digs a pit and hallows it out. He falls with himself into a trap he had made for others. His mischief rebounds upon his own head, and his violence comes down on his own fate. I will thank the Lord for his justice. I will sing praises to the Lord Most High. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the earth. Your majesty above the heavens is yet recounted by the mouths of babies and sucklings. You have founded a strong defense against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon over the stars which you have set in order, what is man? that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god, and have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him the master of your handiwork, and have put all things in subjection beneath his feet. All sheep and oxen, and all the creatures of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, and everything that moves in the pathways of the great waters. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in John's Gospel, chapter 2, and I read from verse 23 until chapter 3 and verse 15. John chapter 2, 23 to John chapter 3 and verse 15. Now while he was in Jerusalem at the Passover feast, many people saw the miraculous signs he was doing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all men. He did not need man's testimony about man, for he knew what was in a man. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish ruling council. 
he came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs you are doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born again when he is old, Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a, a second time into his mother's womb to be born. And Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with any one born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and do you not understand these things? I tell you the truth. We speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen, but still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Here ends the lesson. Lovely passage of scripture. And John reminds us and tells the beautiful story of Nicodemus, a Pharisee, a Jewish leader, an intellectual. that remains in the dark. Nicodemus knows about the law. And I guess as we remember his story, we realize that this very knowledge prevents him from being open to the ways of God. And it stifles the activity of God's Holy Spirit. And John again reminds us in this gospel that Jesus is the light that has come into the world. And John says that in Jesus was life and that life was the light of all mankind. And this is the light that Nicodemus failed to see. And as we start this new year, my dear brothers and sisters, I pray that you and I will ask God to help us to change, to leave behind previous certainties that stifle the activity of God's Spirit in us. In those times when we walk in unforgiveness, when we are filled with pride and an attitude of judgment towards our brothers and our sisters, when we remain silent on social injustices, and when we turn a blind eye to the horrific violence perpetrated against women and children. Friends, when you and I cease to be generous and kind, and yes, the list gets longer and longer, so I pray that as we look at the story again of Nicodemus, that God may give us the grace to listen 
with a disciple's ear. That you and I may be born again to a new way of being and to a new mode of living. That you and I may be more sensitive to each other and be guided by God's gentle spirit so that we can become the light, the light of God in a dark world. Amen. The Song of Simeon Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We say the baptismal creed together. I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in His Son Jesus Christ who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in His Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This evening we remember those that have started this past day, teachers, scholars, as they start a new academic year. And so, eternal God, worthy of all worship, your, so your son sat among scholars asking them questions, bless all schools, colleges, and universities, that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom, and grant that those who teach and those who learn may praise you as the source of all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So Lord God, we ask you to give us your blessing to your church holiness, to the world peace, to this nation, justice, and to all people, knowledge of your Lord. Keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our collect for the week. God of grace and glory, your Son revealed your power in many signs. Transform our everyday lives that make us worthy of our calling to serve the world in your name through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, from whom all holy desires 
all good counsels and all just words, works proceed. Give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, beloved, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us and um, we invite you to join in tomorrow again at 5 p.m. God bless and have a peaceful night's rest. Thank you.